Well, it's time to take you through the papers this morning. Today we're joined by the entrepreneur Kate Hardcastle and the rapper Zuby. Good to see you both. Good to see you two days on the trot, Kate. Makes a very yes, pleasant change. Yes, it's my little death, Stephen. Uh, and let's start with... I <laughs> know it is, isn't it? Let's start with the mail, should we, Kate? Uh, looking at uh, letting our children down again if we don't get them back to school by September. I think as a parent of three, I understand. I've heard from parents, teachers, guardians, local communities. There's a huge challenge. The fact is, that if our children do go back to school, that's going to assist a lot of people to be able to return to working uh, as, as normal. We'll be able to go back to not being this, this almost switch of careers that you have every single day trying to homeschool where you're looking after your children's educational needs your own working needs and then trying to run the household but obviously there has to be in a way where people feel safe and comfortable that the schools are ready and prepared and the teachers there are actually uh, protected and safe to do so and I think we need a lot more government support information and uh, it, to see them stand up and be counted right now. We need that voice of authority out there because we're getting very, very close to the reopening periods. Um, I think what we know through lockdown and the homeschooling is there's been a complete shift in terms of the support of uh, the teachers uh, and the, the parents at home doing the homeschooling. Uh, very different dynamics in terms of what schools have been able to deliver and what parents have been able to deliver. And we know that that's going to lead to an education gap. Some teachers are suggesting up to a year to try and help the poorest children, the, 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 the families that really are struggling the most, to, to build back up on that missing education. You know, all down to things like technology, not having the laptops available to be able to do the home courses. So, yeah, absolutely. We want our children back at school, we want it to be safe and secure for the teaching organisations, but I think this is the time to hear from the government that we are able to do that and hear some more confidence in that.